hate the play. All kinds of room. So we got our pile of prefab floors over here. Picking them up, driving them over here, and bringing them up the hill and putting it on. Let's see if I can get some cool shots of that. And since I gotta try to teach some, but show you guys what's going on a bit. See this yellow beam here, and then you see underneath him, you got a triple. That's called a point load, and that's his backbone. He's got to have some strength to him. Anywhere where there's weight coming down on the building, you're going to have to have a point load or some thing to bear the weight. I'll try to keep giving you guys cool tips. Absolutely. time we got some more shots of the boys because uh, the savage woodworker thing it's not really supposed to be about me it's supposed to be about your crew we're all savage woodworkers nobody's you can't do it without your team so thanks boys so what do we got we got one two three four five six six pieces in now boys are doing great work weather's a little bit meh Mike's fixing everything as we go because he's champ. And, uh, we're gonna start flying in the frontals, the bigger ones. So now we gotta go get those girls over there. Gonna be a good one. <laughs> That piece is going up there. It's going pretty smooth. Not bad. I guess I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> and there's those strong backs I was talking about. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to walk under here. Chains wrapped up in there, it's picking everything up. It's going pretty good. This guy's just no strong back, he's just all my little lonesome.
goes. I tried to get some sweet shots for you guys. We flew in those prefab sections. And man, when you're prefabbing, there's always a little bit of fear <laughs> that it might not fit properly and uh, all that business, all that jazz. You don't want to have to be all pumped up and then when you go to land it, grab the sawzall! That's not good. I'm happy to report everything went in like a dream. Like just how you wanted it to. It was a flipping beautiful day. Actually, the weather sucked, but as far as production goes, oh man, killed it. And it was safe. And that's why I'm kind of more about prefab. We're doing fine on our timeline. It's just, <laughs> our backs aren't getting any, uh, they're not getting any younger, you know what I'm saying? That drywall rim board, 16 inch by 12 feet, it's heavy. So what I'm getting at here is uh, if you can work safe and not blow your back out, you're gonna prolong your productivity. It's kind of like having an investment in a safe ETF or stock. It might seem boring or like safe, but in the long run, you're gonna get some more gains out of there because you're that framer who's all risk it might be good for a bit but once you blow your back out or you die you can't build anymore can you Billy so <sighs> guess what I'm trying to say is treat your body like a temple <laughs> and if you're drinking a bunch of beers you better wash that temple clean with some water you know what I'm saying Quite a bit of square footies, bud. Keep on tuning in. I'm gonna try to give some more tips because it's, listen, it's hard as hell to <laughs> zoom boom these panels in and control the drone. Press record on that, look for the good shot and document this and give you guys little tips along the way. It ain't easy because I still have to be productive. Like I have a deadline to keep. Listen, I don't know who these people are. They're buying up these houses left, right, and center. So, be kind of cool if I could afford to buy one of these houses. 